Customs Project Car TV. Today's project is to change the oil on my 2016 Dodge Ram 2500 with the Cummins. So as part of that, I thought I'd show you guys how to do it. This is actually my first time doing it uh, since I bought the truck. Every other time that it's needed an oil change, it's been to a dealer. The warranty's finally run out, so I'm doing them myself from here on. So for tools to do this job, I talked to the guys that did the last oil change for me. And you need, you need one tool. The rest you may or may not be able to do on your own without a tool, but you need a 3 8 inch ratchet. And that's what takes out the drain plug. There's no socket required. There's actually just a plug in the bottom of the oil pan that uses the 3 8 inch square ratchet. So you're going to want that. And it looked to me like when I looked under there, a, a short extension would help. I believe you're going to want some kind of filter wrench, whether it's this type that goes back onto a ratchet and squeezes at the bottom of the filter, whether it's a band clamp of this nature or one of the ones that's got the metal band. And then the, the only real specialty item, and this is about uh, $15 on Amazon, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, this is an oil filter plug. So you unscrew the oil filter and then screw this into the top of the oil filter before you try and take the oil filter out from under the truck. You have to go in through the passenger side wheel well, and there's a very narrow opening. You can see the oil filter in there, but from what everything I've read and what the mechanics told me is, if you try and move that without some kind of plug on it, you just end up pouring all the oil all over your suspension. And then you've got to spend a lot of time cleaning it up. So I know from the second to last time that oil was changed and it was done at the dealer where I bought the truck, which was a GMC dealer, and it came with a free oil change. So I was like, well, great, I'll just have them do it. Well, when I went to pick up my truck, there was oil dripping out from under everywhere. I mean, like they had poured the oil on the outside of the engine rather than on the inside. So what it turned out was they didn't have this plug. They took the oil filter off. The only way to get it out of there, if you don't have this to where you can turn it sideways, is to basically just let it fall towards the bottom, bounces off the suspension two or three times, pours oil everywhere. I don't want that mess. So when I took it to the Dodge dealer the next time for the oil change, they're the ones who are like, oh, all it takes is this little $15 tool and you're good to go. So we've got that and this, those would get it done. And then typically you want an oil filter to get the old oil filter off. So I'm gonna take you around to the other side because uh, who wants to watch me drain oil, but I'll get my smaller camera under there at least show you where the drain plug is in relation to the oil pan and all that. Under the truck from the driver's side here, driver's front. Mine's a four-wheel drive, but that just means there's more stuff in the way. You can see at the very back of the oil pan, at the very back of the motor, here's the drain plug. And you can see it's it's just got a square fitting in it. Oh, we're going to take that loose. And that is some black oil. So we'll let that drain out and we'll get to the oil filter. All right, well, you can see back here, this is the oil filter we're trying to get off. And you can see it would actually come through here, but only sideways. It's not going to do it in a vertical fashion. So we're going to put our oil filter wrench on there and because that oil was so black I just this is my first diesel oil change um, because it was so black under there I said I was gonna get a pair of gloves I think we got it loose enough All right, once you get it you can lower it down part way and it'll sit on a frame member or something in there. And then pull it out. Not one drop spilled. All right, guys, I'm back under the truck. I've taken the oil plug and cleaned it up. And the gasket on mine is in real good shape, so I'm just going to reuse this one. Um, it's always best to really look them over. If they've got any nicks or tears in them or anything, you should replace it. They're pretty cheap. I just, I don't happen to have one here. So rather than go buy one, 
I will reuse this one, but there's also nothing wrong with it. So last thing I like to do is take a little brake cleaner and clean the bottom of the oil pan off where that's gonna be sealing because you got dirt and of course all the oil that's been coming out and Like I said, this is my very first diesel oil change, but it's only about my bazillionth oil change overall. So they all go pretty much the same. You can find the drain plug, drain the oil, get the oil filter out, replace it all. Get this oil filter out. Um, I'm trying to hold the camera and Okay, so once you get this oil filter out, you can take the plug out of it. We're going to be using that one more time. Always, always, always make sure this rubber O-ring came out with the, with the oil filter. Um, I've seen it more than once where it sticks to the car. If you go put a new oil filter in and you have two of these rubber seals next to each other, it will not seal. It will dump all the oil out in just a few minutes, and that will be the end of the engine if you don't catch it right away or don't stop and do something about it. So always check for that on your new oil filter. I like to fill my oil filters with oil so that it doesn't start up dry. And then I put just a tiny bit of oil on that ring so that it'll slip in there. It's not quite full. Let's see if we can top it off. So just take a little bit of oil, one couple of the drops, put it around there. And this one, we're going to put the oil seal, oil cap back on there. So I bought Mopar oil filters and uh, Shell Rotella oil. And just the opposite of what we did before, we're going to put the oil filter in there and let it sit down in there on the bottom. And with it in place, we're going to take this plug back out of it, set that aside, and then I'm going to go up with the oil filter. You're supposed to go up until it makes contact, and then and then they all say to make a third to a half a turn. All right, I think we're there. Got a good half of a turn on it. One last quick tip that I forgot to share with you at the very beginning is I like to take the oil filter or the oil cap or the dipstick partly out so that what you're doing is you're giving a place for air to go back in to the crankcase as that oil is draining out. So that just makes the oil drain a little faster. The other quick tip is start your engine, warm it up a little bit. Don't get it so hot that everything is you know is burning you to get the oil out of it and everything. I don't recommend driving it to town and back or whatever, but let it run for five minutes. That, the oil warms up, it's moved through the engine, and you're, it's gonna drain towards the bottom quicker with it warm. Now, if it's been sitting in the garage and you're gonna take it in the same place, most oil is drained to the, to the oil pan, and if it's a warm day, maybe you don't need to do that step. But you know, here it's still getting down into the high 30s, low 40s at night, so the oil gets a little thicker. So by warming it up for five minutes, it's not so hot that you can't touch it, you can drain everything out, it drains out fairly quickly, and get the job done quicker. So that's just about it for doing an oil change, guys. All we gotta do is add oil back to we're at the full spot, and then uh, that's it. So uh, top, start to finish, including the time it's taken me to move cameras or anything, 20 minutes without the cameras, maybe a 12 minute job here, 15 minutes. Um, granted, I've done a bazillion oil changes in my lifetime, but First time I've done the Dodge, first time I've done a diesel. They're no different than doing a gas engine. Um, only trick on this one is to get that oil filter plug tool so that you can get the oil filter out of there without making a mess. We didn't spill a drop going in or out with the oil filter. So. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, thumbs up on the, uh, make a comment, whatever, all that really helps us move up the list with 
with uh, YouTube and Google. So please do all those things for us. Hit the bell to get uh, notifications of when the next time we've got a video coming out. And other than that, you guys have a great week. We'll see you again next time on Alice Customs Project Car TV.